Okay, so in this video we are playing the last match of a vintage cube that I'm doing. And for this type of stream, we are just showing you how most of the gameplays uh, do on a speed run. Okay, and so now you can see that I have seven cards in my hand and it's my turn to play first in this game. And you can see the steps of uh, the turns of going right now with the upkeep step, but I'm pressing OK. We're now in the main phase. Now in this phase, you can play any lands that you can uh, play from your hand and also cast any spells. I don't have anything for one, so we are just passing the turn. So we're going through the steps, going to my second main phase, ending the turn. And now you see here, it's going to turn to my opponent's turn. So it's his main phase now. He just drew his card and went through his upkeep step. And he played a land, so... Oh, that's actually a really good land, too. <laughs> three color, uh, three colors on one land, so... And you will see that there are many different kinds of uh, lands that you can play each turn if you have it possible. And, ooh, this might be good. Um, don't really want to go to safe route, though. Okay, so, not knowing what he has, he could instantly kill this guy if he wants to. Uh, he hasn't really played... Uh, much so this is where as a player you get to pick which route is safer and I'm gonna go with the Azura Signet. It gives me an extra mana not like a Rofellos, but I think it's a safer route just because so We'll see though if I'm correct because he could destroy this if you wanted to and yeah, we'll see but but it's not as bad as possibly getting light and bolt or chain lightning and yep kind of called it but we shall see, because if he doesn't have anything to answer this next card that I'm about to play, then I think we should be somewhat safe. But we'll see. Because right now, I am curious to see what he has in store. But, let's see what it does. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, uh, doesn't have a response for that? Uh, that's quite good then. Uh, I'm liking this already, but we'll see. Uh-oh. Oh, is this happening? Yes, it's happening. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Questing Beast resolves. I was not expecting it to resolve. And so let's find out. Okay, so he has, he has a commander. So, yeah, I, that, that will kind of do it. But it's a slow one. And so if he wants to, he can uh, destroy it to take me off. Um... Uh, artifact, uh, so. Alright, so it looks like we're playing a Jeskai uh, deck. Uh, usually Jeskai is like uh, the USA colors, uh, red, white, and blue uh, type of feel. And could be interesting. Oh, Monastery Mentor. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, creatures like this is what also makes uh, certain games uh, unfathomable uh, because of that, so. It's pretty nice. Let's find out what he does, because now if something comes out of the ordinary, this might uh, determine something. Oh, wait a minute. What's he doing? Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's go for Utopia Sprawl. So, I want to assume he's going to possibly block with something. If he, in the off chance he doesn't uh, block, this just proves to be uh, in a good position anyway. So, let's find out. But sooner or later, he has to deal with us. So, okay, guess not. All right, fine. He's taking four, so not good. I won't complain. He probably has something in his hand. Uh, otherwise, uh, he would have done something uh, there most likely. So he's taking uh, a lot of damage uh, too. So assuming he has something to deal with this soon, we'll be able to see. Question is, is what? Uh, 
Ooh, that might do it too. Hmm. Doesn't have much to equip though. At least not just yet. Hmm. Okay. Do you have another land? That'd be interesting if we did. Hmm. I wonder. Should I? Nah, you know what? I think that's fine. Okay, so uh, I'm going to play a nice trick here, so we'll see. Okay, so Rafalis is coming out. I still have uh, technically four, just in case. But for right now, I am going to attack. And if he doesn't have anything, then he's definitely going to be uh, in trouble. With three cards in hand, he's already... Uh, down to his last resources, and so he has to do something here. Okay. Alright, what you gonna do, buddy? Oh, okay. I thought he would sacrifice to destroy my artifacts, but I guess not. So, he definitely has something planned. Ah! That will do it. Okay, so now you definitely force my hand. Uh. Yep, let's re blink a uh, creature. Yep. Questing Beast is now out of the damage, so. Alright, so with two cards left in hand, he's in deep trouble now. So, Questing Beast is still uh, on the table, trying to get rid of that, so. Yeah, so I was wondering why he didn't uh, just destroy my artifact, so he was trying to do the Unholy Heat. Uh, and get him off uh, the board, so. Yep, he's in deep trouble now. Ooh, okay. So, now this is where I get to have a little bit of fun. So, Nisa is coming out. See what he does. It's taking a while. Hmm. I wonder what he's thinking. Okay. So, about to say. Now, let's cast this. card. Since I don't need the white anymore from this, I don't uh, have to take a damage. Yep, that will do it. And, yeah. Now, let's go on for the fun. So I'm targeting this. Let's give it flying. And he is attacking. And definitely he's in trouble now. Hmm. What does he want to do now is the question. With two cards left in hand, not very much options, but he could have something, so let's find out. And here's the thing. This is what I will always say about magic. 
Never underestimate uh, the situation. Whether it's two cards, one card in hand, you know, anything could happen in Magic. And that's the thing. So, when playing this game, sure, it's good to be calculative or to analyze the situation. But the biggest thing I will always say is opportunities won't stay open forever in uh, a match. If you see something, go for it. And, yep, kind of called it. So he has something uh, now, so. Yep. Yep, and he returned those to hand, so. Yep, was not looking forward to that, so. Yeah, so he got me good on that one. So, and now I am defenseless. So, <laughs> ah, that's my fault. And if I haven't explained it enough, planeswalkers are the value of in most games uh, when you see them. And so, and oh, if you haven't noticed, I also did forget to put a counter on here. So, that's also my fault. <laughs> Looks like he's going on the offensive now. Oh, he's charring my guy, too. Yikes. Not good. Ugh, that'll do it on that one. Yeah. Like I said, never underestimate a situation, man. Alright, well, at least it's not uh, too bad, but I did lose a lot, so I will be honest uh, with that a lot, so... And this guy puts up pressure, so at least it can deal with it. Yep. Unfortunately, in this case, I am going to block uh, here. Let's see if he does anything. Uh, 
Yeah, Monastery Mentor really did uh, work for him, so. Uh. Yep, fair enough. Hmm, I could bushwhack it now. Let's see here, puts it the battlefield, so what? I'm just gonna play this now. I'm gonna play my uh, Steel Seraph now, put him in uh, range. Hopefully, that will be enough. Spells. Hmm. Yeah, you got me good on that one. I did uh, forget the triggered ability on uh, Knight of the Reliquary, if not the activated ability. I could have done that too, since he was just going to return hand. And hmm. Yikes. Yeah, he got me. Well, I made a couple, uh, definitely a few mistakes on that one, so. And I'm willing to admit uh, mistakes, but, you know, I still enjoy uh, games. And so, now, moving on to Cyborg, I don't think there's really much I uh, need to do against this type of player, because I have to go all out on him, basically, so. Hmm. Let's find out. Let's see how he does. So, finally, he has control magic. He... Uh, he yeah, it does have uh, some burn spells, so I'm still pretty uh, confident. We'll see. Yes, I can play him first. Yep, I am keeping. And this hand I particularly like just because I have a good amount of mana, but the one I really like the most is spawning uh, on the first start, so this will should give me an explosive uh, start, so let's find out what he does though is now the real question. Okay, where's the canopy? Green. Land. See where he does. Ooh, he has it? Wow. Ugh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> hey, if he has it, he has it, you know. this on the first one <laughs> but, but beggars can't be choosers when it comes in this game especially uh, if you already have a decent hand uh, to start with eh, it should be okay and so and once you take <laughs> like 
What are you, what are you waiting for, man? <laughs> I'm just playing a mox. You really want to counterspell a mox? Like, like, if you want to counterspell something, at least counterspell this. You know? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, go to play tapped. Looks like he doesn't have much uh, on him. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's see here. Don't think they can uh, attack him. Yep, I can't attack him uh, while uh, doing this, but you know what? Eh, he has enough. Oh, we'll bash. Yeah, I'm going to play the aggressive game uh, on him because him being in control deck, unless he has something to come back, something pretty good right about now, I mean, you know, he has to do something. Season Pyromancer. Potentially to make dudes. Let's see when cards he wants to discard at this point. And for a card like this, he doesn't get a chance to um, say May. Uh, he's forced to discard them. And so. Oh, so he discarded what? Tried the course? Yeah. Okay. Well, that seems fair. Oh, I think that's really fair. Hmm. Okay. Let's try this then. Let's see if he wants to just block it. Normally I could wait uh, for this, but I'm going to be more aggressive still. Yeah, yeah considering he has only three cards left in hand, yeah, you know, he could be uh, down to his last, uh, last uh, bit. Discarding a land, though, kind of concerned me, but we shall see. Because the last game, uh, last game he did get me uh, pretty good, so I'm not going to still say anything bad, because anything could happen. So... Alright, but in the meantime, I am swinging with the team. Cycling. Okay. He really is digging at this point.
Hmm. He's getting no material. Alright, so he gets to search. What is he getting, though, is now the question. Drifter. Uh, I'll do it too. Hmm. Yep, so he has a mole drifter, so that'll definitely get him some cards. Um, let's put four on here. Uh, do I want him out of the way? Yeah, let's get him up. Yeah, let's get him out of the way. Ping him. some free damage on. Yep. Okay. So, now, let's do these. Three more damage. And here's the thing, I have enough to play Steel Overseer, but now that uh, there's a Mold Drifter in play, I think I'm actually going to uh, hold up Endurance now for once, see what he does. Yep, there's the Mold Drifter. Okay, so that changes things. He's going to play that? Okay, alright. Then, that actually changes things. I'm actually going to put a 1-1 one, one, uh, counter on here instead. Remove and... I'm going to pass the turn to him again and see what he does. I am actually not going to attack uh, this time because uh, what I'm trying to do is, if possible, uh, use Endurance to kill uh, Mold Drifter and uh, hang back my uh, dudes. Hopefully he can think that I can just uh, double block here and go from there, but we'll see. We'll see what he does. And this time, I have enough to do an endurance, targeting myself, shuffling, and then also uh, upgrade uh, uh, walking blister if possible. Ooh, that might do it too. Hmm. Okay, that changes things. Okay, alright. If that's the case, man, I am actually going to do this. So, put one. One, two, three. There's the four. And then, then remove one. And then remove. All right. So you take my guy out. And I take yours, and he doesn't have a target. And the funny thing is, uh, if you've seen that, that's how the stack works, is that the ability resolves on to the stack. Um, and that's what I was trying to do. And so...
Okay, now let's put these cards back in my uh, deck and target me. Hmm, okay. This will definitely change things, so... Okay. Perfect. And now I... Play Seraph. And for this, I'm just going to attack with that. So with two cards left in uh, his hand, let's find out if he has something uh, to come back to us. Because now, because now my board state is potentially uh, additional uh, creatures, and with Nissa out, unlike last game, I was able to target and not forget that. So, <laughs> all right, perfect. He didn't have anything, so that's good. All right, so now, so that worked out well. <laughs> Ignoring the fact that he literally killed uh, Rafellos, if this had had sticked during the beginning, oh man, just imagine having this guy out like super early. Uh, it's just it would have been phenomenal. But like I said, beggars can't be choosers. And in terms of the course of the game, that's what makes it magic so interesting is because you don't know what's gonna come up. And so, and now. And see here, I'm trying to see uh, if there's anything else I should do. I think I'm pretty set still, so. And this is game three, so he got one game out of me, so make the best uh, plays win. And so. And I know you guys haven't really seen the deck list on how I built it. Um, probably because I didn't really go through on the drafting styles. You will probably see that in one of my videos later on, so. Keep watching and you'll uh, see how things uh, go. And if anything, as a friendly reminder, if you like the video uh, from the High Table of Magic, please uh, click the subscribe button down below and uh, support us. And so, and you will definitely see me uh, more often on uh, streams and stuff so that you can see how tournaments are run, how games are run, or just simply knowing the rules of magic. Because if you can't tell already, this was an amazing game. Uh, just for me, the hype was uh, there. So I hope uh, it was for you too. Okay, so he's doing his traditional move. And so starting off with uh, the trium. Let's see here. Okay. So he starts with the trium. I'm actually going to start with the savannah. And let's go. All right, I'm actually going to start with double green since I have all the white in the world. So hopefully that will work out. Okay, so, let's see. Okay, so, I pretty much have all the lands in the world, so let's try this now. Let's start with, you know what, let's start with Nisa. 
All right, so Nisa, she allows me uh, to get a forest out of my deck and put it into my hand, so that's good for me. And this is the type of aggressive uh, behavior I need now against this type of player, so let's see if it sticks, though. Because let's face it, I don't think I've seen any uh, cyborg cards yet from him, and I've seen the normal, you know, kill spells and stuff like that, so let's find out. Okay. I'll keep. Alright, let's play a land for a turn. Oh! You gotta do that to me now? Okay, alright. Go for it. So, Videli Click allows them to look at my hand, they choose a card, put it uh, back uh, in the deck on the bottom, I believe, and then basically I draw a card if they do that, uh, as you can see here. Yeah, it has to be an on land, so they have to pick uh, one of the four creatures I have in my hand uh, to do so, so. Which one do you not want? I'm willing to bet he doesn't want the Restoration Angel, but we shall see. Yep, as I thought. Oh my goodness, okay, alright. Instead, you gave me something way, way better. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he wants to see this, but we shall see. Uh, if you can't deal with it, then... Sorry, buddy. <laughs> No sense uh, to be attacking with Nessa, so attack before. Yep, and now I need seven or more lands for her to be uh, good. So, so now he's on the clock. If he can't deal with uh, questing beasts in, in a particular way, uh, this game is pretty going to be fast. So, but he knows my hand uh, now, so if he has ways to control uh, this app, that is going to be problematic, but we shall still see. So, yeah, but right now I really need to control this uh, situation, so, hmm, okay, let's drop that down. All right, let's continue on the attack. This time, I am going to be aggressive. Nisa is coming out now. So let's find out. Okay, question B is it dead. That will do it. Since you don't like that guy so much, I am going to bring it back with Eternal Witness. And that's actually pretty fun. Yep. Alright, he has four lands. He's off. Uh, he's off one blue, so he can't uh, cryptic command just yet. Oh, that'll do it too, though. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. He gets a sour temptation. I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm, that's gonna be rough. I can't really deal with that one. Huh, that's a nice card. 
Mm. All right, so I have to outplay him somehow. <sighs> oh, that'll do it. Okay, so let's see if he wants to block here. I don't think he wants to, but let's find out. Hmm. Well, he really is uh, scared of damage, so. Oh, looks like I'm on the timer for five minutes now, so time is against me. Plan to do now. Earthen pod. I haven't seen that car in a while. What's it gonna do though? Hmm. Probably he was thinking of something else. Okay. Hmm. We shall see. Alright, so let's keep the pressure on. All right, perfect. We won the match. And so, ha, ah, sweet. Okay, so hopefully you can see another video uh, from here. It looked like you didn't have much uh, going on in that one. But still, very nice games uh, for my opponent, uh, if not opponents. And so, wish you could see. But we'll uh, do another draft here uh, shortly uh, another time. Until then, I am Edward Kapalongan from the High Table of Magic. Until next time, have a great Blessed night, and remember, may the magic be with you.